Hey guys, it's Sarah. Today I want to do a different kind of video, one that's a little bit more serious. I want to talk about body dysmorphic disorder. All right, well let's hop right into the video. This video is going to be a part one of two videos. The second video will be coming out next week. I am actually in the process of putting that one all together. Because of what I'm doing with that video, I cannot see myself. I normally have like the viewfinder right here and I don't have it there anymore. If for some reason I am blurry, I apologize. But let's go ahead and get on with the video. If you do not know what body dysmorphic disorder is, I will leave the definition in the description below. Otherwise, a general general definition is what you see your body looking like or maybe a certain part of your body is different than what the reality is. Now the reason I wanted to talk about this this week is because this is something that has consumed my thoughts the last couple weeks or more. Different things that I have been doing as far as changing my outfit a bunch of times, staring in the mirror for half an hour, not being happy enough with the way I look to even leave my bedroom, needing to make sure that I feel okay with the way I look before I leave my bedroom and especially before I leave the house. It's like there's different levels. Like I can feel if I if I look this good, like if I feel this amount of good, then it's okay to leave my room, but there's no way I'm leaving my house. In order for me to leave my house, I need to feel this good. And until I feel this good, then I am not going anywhere. And so it's something that's kind of consumed everything. I don't really know why. Yeah, I feel like it's it's new, but at the same time, I'm looking back and I'm realizing it's not new. I've just never thought about it before. I think it's never consumed so much of my life that it's affected a lot of things. I always just figured, I'm a girl and I have insecurities. So there's nothing different about me and I just wanna look good. Like, is that a problem to want to look good? I don't think so. And a few weeks ago, I just started noticing that I was looking in the mirror more than I used to. The world is surrounded by cameras where you can see yourself. Mirrors everywhere. There's a mirror in a bathroom. There's mirrors at the gym. We are constantly taking selfies and even have mirrors on some of the back of our phone cases. And thinking about that, I thought it would be a fun challenge for a video coming up to make it to where I don't look at any mirrors for a week. I thought, you know, I'm probably looking at mirrors a lot too much. This might kick me out of that bad habit. So I thought we'll just take down the mirrors in the house and cover them up for a week. And I'll vlog the process and kind of see how it goes. Well, it hasn't been going well. That's what I'm in the middle of right now. It is day four and I am completely emotionally exhausted not having any mirrors in the house <laughs> and the mirrors that are there like in the bathroom covered up. I also had my husband take the scale away so I couldn't weigh myself. And for some reason it is causing so much anxiety and I don't know why. I thought it was gonna be a funny challenge. I thought it was gonna be something quirky and maybe hard because I would not be able to do my hair or whatever. And I joked around with friends saying that I was gonna look like the guy from Castaway at the end of this week and thinking it was gonna be funny. And I didn't realize that I have been using the mirror as a way to cope, as a way to pick at the things that I wanna change and focus at the, on the things that I like. If I was feeling bad about myself, you would think you wouldn't want to see a mirror. But in actuality, that's what I want. I want to go look in the mirror so bad and I want to just make sure I, that I'm okay. And it's the weirdest thing to verbalize and it's the weirdest thing to think, especially because I don't understand it. I don't understand why it's so emotionally taxing just not being able to see what I look like. And it's been taking everything in me not to look at myself it, like in my phone and not to take a selfie, I could, but I'm realizing that there is something really seriously going on that's deeper, that's deeper than whatever looking in the mirror will do for me. Because of that, I'm trying not to take a selfie or anything like that. I think me not having mirrors to look at right now, it's shining a light on the thought process that I have that I didn't notice before. 
normally I would get up in the morning, go to the bathroom, check myself out in the mirror, maybe check my weight, look in the mirror again, get dressed, look in the mirror again, change my clothes, look in the mirror again. And all of those things, I thought I want to make sure that everything looks okay. And I don't think that it's uncommon to look in the mirror after getting dressed, but I think it's not good if you just are staring and nitpicking at every little thing. And rather than being able to put on a shirt, look in the mirror and saying, cool, good to go. And then just go, I just stand there for half an hour. I don't even do my makeup. I am just looking at my outfit and looking at my body and making sure I look okay for me. It's literally, I don't feel good. I don't feel comfortable. If I look at certain parts of my body, then I don't feel happy. This might come to a shock to some of you guys because of all the fitness stuff I've been posting and I'm realizing that I've become dependent on looking at myself, kind of talking myself into feeling okay and not just being able to be and not just giving that up to God, you know, and just letting him take that. But instead I put it on myself and I don't know why. All of the thoughts that normally I wouldn't notice as a day to day, uh, I'm noticing now. And they're all very unhealthy thoughts and they're destructive, to be honest. I had a thought the other day, and I don't even wanna share this cause it's embarrassing. The reason why I'm pushing myself through this and to share this with you is because if you feel this pain too, I want you to know you're not alone. I want you to know that you can find help and it's okay. But I had a thought the other day. I was thinking about getting food and I hadn't really eaten um, much that morning. I had gone to the gym, worked out, came home and I was planning on having a protein shake. And I also wanted to have like a sandwich rather than feeling like, okay, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna have a sandwich. I had the thought of, well, sandwich isn't really that healthy, so maybe I'll go look in the mirror first, and if I like what I see, then I will eat it. And if I don't like what I see, then I won't. The moment I had that thought, I almost just started crying because I noticed that thought. Normally, I would have just done it. I wouldn't have thought about it, and I and I know that because I've done that. I have just gone and looked in the mirror and then been like, yeah, you know, I probably shouldn't eat that. It is so destructive. It's almost like punishing myself, and I shouldn't do that. Nobody should. And it was just so heartbreaking to have that light shine on a thought that I've had many times and never noticed. And I'm just hurting myself and I don't know why. I just, I, I just want to look in the mirror. I don't know why. So I have no idea how long this video is, but it's probably been a while and I should probably wrap it up. I just want my lasting thought for you guys to be that if you do feel like this, like I said, you're not alone and you can't get help and it's okay and it will be okay. And if you don't relate, if this is something that maybe you're just watching or maybe you know somebody that struggles with this, just know that pulling back from them doesn't help. It might feel like it will. Giving them tough love, it might feel like it will help them, but with this it won't. And drawing attention to it won't. The issue is so deep. What they need is support. What they need is somebody that will love them unconditionally no matter what. I will tell you guys one more thing. My husband, he is the most wonderful man. He helped me so much. Throughout these last few days, I have been feeling so down and it has been really hard to continue with this challenge of not having mirrors in the house. We had a really good conversation. He did the weirdest thing, but it was so sweet. He had me just stand up and he just stood in front of me and he held my hand and he started from the top. He said that he absolutely loves my brown hair and he loves my brown eyes and he loves my shoulders. And he just kept pointing out different parts of my body that, that he loves. And it was both 
heartbreaking and comforting at the same time. It was heartbreaking because with every compliment I could think of a reason why I hated it or why there was something wrong, why it's not perfect. But with every compliment, it just made me so thankful that God put such a wonderful man in my life. Someone who is there for me, even through a time that is so mind twisting. I don't even understand what's going on myself. I would never expect him to understand. And the fact that he is just willing to be there, open arms, is absolutely amazing. So if you know somebody that is suffering, whether it's from this or anything else, just know that you being there and you just showing your unconditional love for them, that's what will help. It might not seem like it, but that's that's something that will help. I didn't want to end this video without saying thank you for all of your support, all of your love. My goal for this channel, for all the videos I make, is to be real with you. At the end of every video, I always say, be you, be love. And it is a hard thing to do, is to be yourself. And it is a hard thing to be loved. Sometimes we have to force ourselves to love somebody. And sometimes that person is ourselves. I just want to say a big thank you to all of you in my life that have shown love towards me and that have been their true authentic self with me. I truly appreciate it. I do have all of my links and everything in the description along with the I above. There is a shout out if you want to check them out. I also have my merch site and my website so don't forget to check those out and look forward to this challenge video. It is truly the most raw thing I have ever made, minus this video probably. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Show some love to somebody, including yourself, and I'll see you guys next time.